Elon Musk has made headlines for his ambitious goals of colonizing Mars and revolutionizing transportation with electric vehicles. But his latest endeavor might be the most groundbreaking yet. Somewhere in an operating room, a patient has just been implanted with Musk's Neuralink brain-computer interface device. For the first time in history, signals from a human brain have been transmitted wirelessly using just the mind. The surgery marks a pivotal moment that blurs the line between man and machine even further. And today, we'll dive into how Neuralink's coin-sized computer chips could connect our minds directly to AI, enhance our intelligence, and radically transform humanity as we know it. How does Neuralink work? First off, how do Neuralink's tiny brain implants actually function? Neuralink's brain-computer interface consists of incredibly slender, flexible electrode threads that are surgically implanted directly into the brain by a neurosurgical robot. This robot can quickly and precisely insert the tiny threads into the brain matter without causing excessive damage or bleeding. Each supple electrode thread contains many electrodes that are able to monitor and record the electrical signals from neurons. This enables them to read neural activity as it flows through the brain. The other end of each electrode thread is connected to an implantable coin-sized computer chip that processes and transmits the neural signals. This implanted computer chip communicates wirelessly with external devices through an inductive link. It's much like wireless smartphone charging. The computer chip powers the electrodes, amplifies neural signals, and uses algorithms to encode the signals as digital data streams. This fully implanted wireless system allows for a two-way link between the human brain and computers. It can both read brain activity to interpret intents and even feed information back into the brain by stimulating neurons. The long-term vision is a seamless brain-computer integration that enables humans to control devices, access information, and potentially even expand cognitive capacities simply by using our thoughts. It's bringing sci-fi notions of technopathy and neural augmentation closer to reality. What could this mean for us? On the surface, Neuralink aims to first help those suffering from neurological conditions like paralysis, blindness, and memory loss by restoring bodily functions. Precision stimulation of visual cortex neurons, for example, could transmit visual data and restore some vision. Stimulating spinal cord nerves could help paralyzed limbs move again. Recording memory-specific neuron patterns could even allow storage and retrieval of memories. Yet, Elon Musk clearly has much grander visions for how this technology could alter humanity. He views brain-computer integration as essential for humans to keep pace with the exponential growth of artificial intelligence. Without merging with advanced computing, Musk believes humans will become obsolete within the next century. Truly integrating minds and machines could expand human potential in unforeseen ways. Implanting computer chips and electrodes essentially makes our wetware programmable, enabling enhancements through software updates. Radical improvements to intelligence, memory, creativity, sensing abilities, and longevity may be possible. It could even enable direct brain-to-brain -brain communication, shared experiences, and something akin to telepathic powers. However, such profound transformations also carry major risks, from cognitive hacking to divides between enhanced and normal human beings. And we can't even begin to predict all the unintended consequences that could emerge from such power over the human mind. Now, before we get ahead of ourselves, Neuralink still has huge hurdles to prove that it's scientifically viable and safe. They now have $158 million in funding through a team of leading experts. Let's look at some of their recent progress. Animal Testing Success Last year, Neuralink unveiled a demonstration of how far they've come, and it was quite stunning. They successfully implanted their device in pigs and other test animals. In a widely viewed event streamed live, Musk showcased Gertrude, a pig with a Neuralink implant in her brain. They were able to predict Gertrude's limb joint positions based on her neural activity when she walked on a treadmill. They've also implanted a chip in a monkey's brain and had him play video games with his thoughts alone. While controlling computers with brain signals has been done before, Neuralink aims to take it mainstream through automated implantation and wireless high-bandwidth connections. However, 
Neuralink's animal testing has not been without controversy. Recent allegations claim the test animals have faced neglect, extreme suffering, and medical complications. The company denies misconduct, but regulatory scrutiny into their practices is ongoing. Only time will tell how this develops. First Human Tests Underway And now for the big news. Neuralink has just begun their first tests in human subjects. Last week, Elon Musk announced that a patient had undergone implantation of their brain chip. This initial human trial comes after years of setbacks for approval, but the company finally received a green light from the FDA in May of 2023. The first volunteer participant reportedly is recovering well, with no health issues related to the device so far. Musk stated that the results show promising neuron spike detection so far. Of course, these are extremely early and preliminary findings. But if the safety profile holds up through future trials, it shows some real promise for using these implants to help paralyzed patients communicate and move again one day. Mind-blowing advancements could come in the years ahead if Neuralink fulfills its potential. Still, there are open questions around how well it will work long term, how safe the procedures will be at scale, and if they can deliver on the incredibly complex technological promises. The path forward is sure to have failures to go along with the successes, if this field continues advancing. Would you get an implant to improve your brain capacities? Is a half-computer, half-human species destined to emerge from this research? What unintended consequences might arise? Let's discuss down in the comments. Honestly, at this point, your guess is as good as mine. I think we all hope that the positives outweigh the negatives. And if done carefully, and for the benefit of humanity, maybe this does put us on a path towards an elevated existence. And if you want to keep exploring how technology could alter humanity, don't forget to subscribe to Quantum Spark and click the bell icon so you never miss a video. Thank you so much for watching.